you're gonna see the same slide twice. First, I'm gonna kinda of give you the overall physical layout of how the classes should be done. And by the way, I want you to pretend there's a line right there because this should be student.h and this is student.cpp. So I'm gonna give you the physical layout first and then I'm gonna explain some of the other items that you see inside. So on the header, side, header file side, we have our class student and very similar to what we have. But notice again, heroes, here is our heterogeneous data type that we're creating, again, name student. So if we were to create this class in full and everything works right, and we were to say in the main, create an instance of a student, the compiler would now know what we're talking about because we're about to include it in our code. So again, you and I are creating our own data type. That's the power of this. So again, notice that these are going to be our private data members of string name and ID. Then we have some public functions to get those values. And it looks like actually we have one to set the value as well. And again, these just are function declarations. And then the end if, like I said, I'll talk about that here in a second. So notice your .h file or your class file isn't meant to be really big. Also, there's really no full functions in this. So this is meant to kept, be kept kind of small. Because again, this is our basic design. Now, I can't say the same thing when we get over to our overall source file. In our source file, it's going to be the functions, and they're going to be the meat of everything going on. Remember, it's the same type of functions that you and I talked about previously, accepting parameters. We talked about the scope, uh, scope resolution operator right there, telling you where it belongs to. This happens to be a constructor. We talk about the get name returning a string back from that function. So there's a lot of things that you and I are really actually used to. It's just all the functions are here in the CPP or the source file. Again, notice these are all very small. They've just got one task to do, and that's about it. So this is your logistical setup for setting up class files in C++.